little clip. Your girl is going blind today. So we're going to lay down these little couple of edges that's outside of my braids. First, before we go in with this install, I don't usually put in this much work with my usual installs. But since it's blonde, I didn't want my little black pieces sticking out the front. I wanted to make sure that it looked right. Okay? I also haven't did this whole cap thing in a long time. But just to refresh your memory, you know, we're just going in with this cap. And I love these new caps they have now. That's just how long I have not worn a cap around in my wig. Because the last time I used the cap, we were still receiving, you know, the little stocking cap looking ones. Not the ones that's see-through. It's giving HD lace, okay? So, I'm just going to put this on. And I am making sure that the spots by my ear is dry down because sometimes it'll still be loose when I start cutting and then I'm just messed up so I just have to make sure that everything is dry down and everything is stuck so that when I cut nothing is coming up now I'm going in with literally the darkest shade that I had in my bronzer but y'all eventually actually I ended up taking this off because I feel like it was kind of showing um, I don't know what it was, but I thought that going in with like the darker shade, it would kind of make it more invisible up under the blonde. But really, just doing no cap worked just fine. And <laughs> please don't mind my facial expression, y'all, when I put this wig on. But I was just realizing that it was like kind of big, okay? This is a large wig because I first received the medium, but the medium, I couldn't really get the lace to come to the front while also, you know, attaching it at the back as well. It was like it was too small in a way because I couldn't get the lace to come to where it needs to be laid down at. But this large, it has a lot of extra wig space um in the back making it kind of fat and i'm sorry that the lens here went blurred for a second but i really had to find out how i was going to finesse this so that it could be flat and not be humongous and look like a ball cap on my head not me talking to myself i was saying the back it's the back i was realizing that it was the back because after hot comb in the front the front is flat but i was realizing that the back is where it's looking big at so i went ahead and sprayed it down i had laid it down with this satin little scarf they sent me as well i used my even spray to lay down the lace And then I'm just going to go in and start to kind of recreate my part because the wig always comes with a part already. But usually once I cut the ear taps and everything like that, I have to recenter the part. So I just have to go in and pluck the part. And I'm going back in with another round of hot comb because... Y'all, I was trying to make sure that I just got this wig as flat as I could, even though some stuff was out of my control, like how much tracks was in the back was out of my control. There was no way that I could make that back part any flatter, honestly, because that's just the way that it was made. But one way that I know that you can do this, if you know what you're doing when it comes to like cutting it out and then sewing it back, if you know how to do that and you have a big wig, then yes, I've seen hairstylists do that. But me personally, I don't know how to do that. So I would have been messing myself up and the wig probably would have been cut in half and I would have just been messed up. So I just had to do what I had to do. So I actually finessed my lace. <laughs> I got questions about how did I bleach the knots or um, tone the knots and this is something else that I finessed okay because I didn't tone them obviously as you can see I found me a good old little eyeshadow palette and this right here my mom really just thought of this like right in this moment because the first time that I put this wig on I did not think about doing this and you even you can see that the part is actually like darker because I installed this wig one time and then I went back in and did it a second time because I feel like I didn't do it good enough the first time. You know what I'm saying? So this time, this idea right here came to mind and I was like, oh wait, this actually is kind of eaten. So I just went ahead and went all out with it and went all around because at first it was just supposed to be for my part. But then I was like, hmm, maybe let me try to do my roots. 
and I was just going back in with it and kind of making my part look a little bit more natural because I feel like it was looking a little bit too perfect and I don't really like that perfect straight part line I like it to look more like how my natural hair would look if it was parted and then I'm just going in and adding in a couple of curls I really wanted that like loose wave curl well not loose wave loose body wave type of curl um so I didn't do a lot of curls. I literally only did three sections on each side. <laughs> literally going back in trying to make this wig as flat as possible again any type of heat i can get i was using it okay and before combing them out i'm going in with my got to be spray and then i'm going to comb out the curls Okay, and that is how my hair turned out. I tried getting it as flat as possible. I do feel like I got my left side. If you can tell, I feel like my left side is a little bit more flat than my right side. But the back, you can literally kind of still see it kind of pumped up a little bit. But it'll do. I still feel like it turned out really cute. So thanks for watching. Everything will be linked in the description box.